Whoa, what a find. Oh, hey there. So, today we're gonna put the fossils down and we're gonna play with something that's just as awesome and those are magnets. What? So look at this magic. I can make the metal move with no hands. So why I was able to move the metal here that was on top of the table without touching it is because of a magnet I had underneath. A magnet is a substance that has magnetic fields. Magnetic fields are invisible lines that are forces either pulling something together or pushing it apart. So every magnet has a north pole and a south pole. North pole, south pole, usually indicated with the end in the S on the magnet. Some are red and gray, red usually meaning the north pole. All this means is that those magnetic field lines, those invisible forces are always coming out of the north end and going to be attracted to the south pole of the magnet. So the bigger, the stronger the magnet that uses means the stronger the field there, the stronger the attraction. All magnets and the fields always flowing north to south. So there's our magnetic field and that is why um, magnets are going to be attracted or repelling each other. So why opposites are attracted as we said the magnetic field is always going from north to south. So it's leaving this north pole coming here to south pole. If you have another magnet close enough. This one's sending out magnetic fields, right? Those forces from the north to the south. This one here is being attracted by those forces from the north. So if these get close enough, this pole magnet here with the south pole is gonna be attracted to the north here. See Pretty strong attraction, you can pick them up. Now here, if we have two north poles, facing each other. And again, these magnetic fields are going out, trying to be attracted to the south poles. They're not gonna pull towards each other. So that's why when you try to connect these two magnets, right, they're going to repel. Right? They're not going to connect. So if we go back to just the one magnet, north pole and south pole, and we look at the field lines, we'll see that the field lines are always the strongest at the poles. So if we take this magnet, second magnet, and we try to attach here to the North Pole, we have a pretty strong bond, pretty strong attraction between them. Now if we take the same magnet and try to attach them here in the center, can't really pick up the other magnet because that magnetic field is the weakest in the center. It's always the strongest at the poles. And we see the same thing on the opposite end. So south to north, and then we try again in the middle. It's not going to attract as much. And same thing with repelling. If we go north to north, it's going to repel the most at the poles. South to south, repelling the most at the poles. In the middle, there's going to be nothing. So I hope you're able to grasp the magnitude of this video. Anyway, back to play with my friends. Ah!